Hey guys, it's me, John Caldwell, with some breaking news in the professional wrestling world. Um, this is a very hot topic going around on the internet right now because it happened last night. Uh, I was informed of this last night on Facebook, on the Facebook page, No Wrestling Limitations, which I recommend you go uh, check out their Facebook page. They got a lot of uh, informative uh, wrestling articles, a lot of, you know, they talk a lot about wrestling and stuff. Uh, go like them. Their fa their link to their Facebook page is right down there. So go check that out. Uh, anyway, so here's what happened. WWE did this show in Brazil, and uh, one of the matches that was on the card for the Brazil the Brazilian show was uh, CM Punk versus Chris Jericho. So CM Punk comes out and he's got the Brazilian flag, and he's waving it around, and the fans are going crazy and stuff. And so Jericho comes out, and Jericho comes in and gets into the ring, and, uh, you know, he, he looks at the Brazilian flag, and he picks it up, and starts, like, showing it at everybody again, and everybody's going crazy. And then after he does that, he crumples it up, throws it down on the mat, and then kicks it out of the ring. And then cuts this promo, this really good promo, saying that he's the best in the world and what he does, you know, and all that. So, uh... Jericho and Punk start wrestling, and I think if I'm right, uh, the Brazilian police come right in the uh, middle of the match, and they tell Jericho that he degraded the Brazilian flag, and that degrading the Brazilian flag is a crime punishable of uh, uh, incarceration, and they give him two options. The first option is he can apologize to the crowd. Second option is uh, he can go to jail and the show will be canceled. And so Jericho, being the kind guy that he is, apologizes to the crowd. And not only is he a, a real nice guy, he's really smart because he saves himself from going to jail and he saved the show. So shortly after he apologized, WWE suspended him indefinitely for degrading the Brazilian flag. Um, and... It went from being suspended indefinitely to a couple of hours ago to being uh, suspended for 30 days. So that's how long he's suspended for right now, 30 days. Um, and at first I was like, no, nah, he can't be suspended. Why would they suspend him for? You know, this this has to be part of a storyline. And uh, then all the wrestling news websites started saying, uh, WWE said that they had no idea Jericho was going to do that and they wasn't responsible for that and stuff. And uh, it got me thinking, huh, well, this is legit. This is actually real. And, uh, you know, if this is a real thing, because part of me thinks that he might have done it to take time off because uh, his band Fozzie is going to be going on tour in the United Kingdom in uh, June. And uh, it's going to last for about 30 days, if I'm right. And... Uh, you know, that's basically how long his suspension lasts. So, he probably might have did that just to tour with his band. But uh, if this is a real situation, this is legit, if it is, then let me say this. Chris Jericho is one of the best heel wrestlers WWE has had in a long time. Uh, you know, he's just such an amazing heel wrestler. He cuts amazing promos. I mean, he's he's just a great heel wrestler. He's a natural heel. And uh, when you're a heel, you want to draw as much heat from the crowd as possible. And uh, that's all Jericho was doing, just trying to draw some heat from the crowd. That's all he was doing. Uh, just wanting to get a couple of boos and stuff, you know. That's all he was doing. And, uh, you know, uh, WWE shouldn't have suspended him. They should have... Um, they should have, you know, it's it's their responsibility. It's not Jericho's. Jericho's not responsible for it. WWE should be because uh, they should have, a road agent, an official, or Vince McMahon himself should have came up to Jericho and said, listen, go out there and draw all the heat that you can off these fans. But whatever you do, don't degrade the Brazilian flag because that's a crime punishable of incarceration. And Jericho, I mean, that's it. Jericho would have understood it, and he would have done something else to, to gain heat from the fans. You know, but no one didn't do it. And, uh, 
WWE should be held responsible for that and not suspend him if it's a real situation. Now, you know, he could have done that just to take some time off because uh, a lot of them have done stuff like that to take time off. You know, but if it's real and they actually suspended him for that, it's kind of strange because if I remember correctly, at Survivor Series 1997, the infamous Montreal screw job, uh, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship, uh, Shawn Michaels took the Canadian flag, rubbed it uh, in his crotch, and picked his nose with it and humped it and all this, and he didn't get suspended for it. Kurt Angle, when he officially debuted, blew, blew his nose in the Indian flag. Didn't do nothing to him, uh, I don't think. You know, if it's a real situation, you know, why would they suspend him for just crumpling it up and throwing it down on the ground when they didn't do it to Michaels or Angle, you know? But, uh, you know, I thought I would tell you guys that because uh, this is a really hot topic going around. And uh, Jericho, shortly last night, after he was suspended indefinitely, he wrote on his Twitter page, I just want to let everybody know that I love Brazil. I did not mean any of that. I apologize for that once again. Brazil is a very beautiful country, and I hope I can continue to come here. That's what he said. You know, he's a real nice guy. But uh, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, Chris Jericho has been suspended for 30 days for degrading the Brazilian flag. So, uh, there you go. Uh, you know, uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, the link to my Twitter page is down here. Uh, also, like the official Facebook page for Stewie Family, the link is also down here. And if you're in eastern Kentucky on a Saturday night around 6 o'clock, tune your radio to 107.1 WKCB to Killer B to listen to my radio show, Flashback in 60 Minutes. I play some of the best classic rock imaginable. Uh, the official Facebook page for... Flashback in 60 Minutes is also right down there. I'll see you guys some other time. This is Stewie Family saying thanks, goodbye, and I'll see you again.